Welcome back to another episode, Couch Lock Nation. I'm Aaron, that's Chase, and today we have a very special guest. Uh, this is Katie May. We met through social media, Instagram specifically, uh, a little while ago. I'm a huge fan of her personal content, of her style, and when she finally officially got into the cannabis scene. Uh, I knew we had to have you on eventually. Um, I don't really watch too many content creators, but I do like your content. I think it's got a very unique and specific flair to it that I relate to. Uh, so that's something that I've always really enjoyed. And then when you finally moved to the same area, the Tampa St. Pete general area, I was like, it's meant to be, we gotta have her on. So today we are spotlighting another local creator, you know, very, very, very specific to the Florida medical market. We're definitely gonna talk overall experiences too. I know you've done a little bit of traveling. If there's anything you want to say, the floor is yours now. My name is Katie May or Katie or May, whatever you really want to call me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, I started really as a model. So my like social media space started through that. I was a Wilhelmina model. Actually, I was a, signed with Elite at first in Miami. That like a modeling a modeling agency, agency in okay. Miami. Yeah. And actually, I was very young. I was like 18 when I signed with them. So I started like getting into like the entertainment and, you know, social media obviously was a big thing back then for me to promote myself in the modeling space. So that's kind of how I got majority of my following um, on my personal Instagram page. Mm -hmm. um, but then uh, after like ending my contract with them and signing another one with another agency, which they were great, I just kind of stopped modeling, but I did kind of turn my account more personal base like I post more like personal things and then also I started posting more of my cannabis content I just started smoking a lot of weed and I was like nobody really posts about it like openly so why not you know like why not just like post about it and like people can relate to it whatever mm. I, yeah, especially was, in Florida too so. right like yeah it's like cool to see people just like post openly about cannabis use Destigmatization has always been a huge goal for Couch Lock in general. And exactly. when we finally decided to put a face behind our content, it was a huge step in the right direction for us. And I think what really started to gain traction, like in the beginning. Yeah. I don't know if you remember when we were doing audio only and then we finally did the first video podcast. Yeah, it was like we do audio only. And then I think we would just like um, put our, our YouTube banner up as the background screen and then we'd post them to YouTube. And then, um, but I mean, we started even before that, bro. Like before Couch Lock, we had like a, a post-it page for mm -hmm. Florida Medical. Class grass, baby. Yeah. We're like, this was like before people were even like posting a lot of stuff on Instagram, like about Florida Medical. We decided, you know what, we'll make like a photo page. And then we realized we don't have one, the proper stuff for that. Like after realizing like we're trying to take like professional photos with like iPhones and stupid shit like that. We realized you can get pretty good shots on an iPhone. Now you can. Yeah, oh, that, that is true. Are freaking that is yeah. true. That is true. The iPhone know, 14s yeah. are like crazy, but yeah, I mean, this was 2020. I think the newest phone was like an iPhone 11 or a 12 and they still weren't like the best with like, I with like weed photos, at least like, yeah. Now it they have a hard to like capture a good weed photo yeah. on an iPhone. Oh, yeah. Like my phone, a lot of the time will like glitch out when I'm trying to focus on like a nug or like a joint. It like does not like take yeah pictures yeah. of it. Yeah, the um the new ones have a macro lens built in now. I think that's what mine has, and like it like the point it, like, five comes lens out or and, whatever like, comes in every time I try to like record something. It's not the thing you're talking about. Yeah, earlier. dude, it gets all spazzy. Yes, you have, like the spazzes. automatic setting on or whatever that's I like think, adjust the lens like automatically. I think I recently changed it because I haven't had many issues with it now. Because mm -hmm. I was like, what the is going on with my camera <laughs> basically i was like what's going on like dude that's I want literally how phone. i feel right now because i yeah. just got the upgrade and i was like, like i like don't even want this phone anymore if this is how it's gonna like take my videos it literally i know that sounds like fucked up but like no same dude. and then i was, I was like, like okay i can literally just change the setting mm -hmm. so i changed the setting and i think it's a lot better now i had chase messing with my phone yeah. earlier like before this it was kind of funny yeah. yeah trying to set up the different like there are definitely settings and ways that you can shoot um photos for like weed and stuff better on the iphone i mean i guess for those at, you out there that want to know you can actually turn your iphone it's actually like a good yeah tip. yeah that there's a tip. lot of people that want to know that stuff yeah. too so um, we're like me and aaron always laugh like whenever we meet some of like the old heads in the industry it's like the indians and the pilgrims like trading like they give us all this weed information like we didn't know about and then we show them how to like take photos properly <laughs> and like, and, like get their brands out. Yeah. on your camera yeah <laughs> like oh it's, it, it, you have to switch it to that lens they're like 
Dude, no That's way. Funny. Or like ways for them to hold it to keep it steady, like stuff like that. <laughs> They're like light. Um, yeah, oh, I forgot where I was going with that. With Good that lighting story. flash. No, that's funny. Oh yeah, for photos, you can actually turn the. I don't know if all of them do it, but the new iPhones, you can even set your photo to take an Apple Pro Raw. It's really? like, mm-hmm. and it saves all the colors, like in a and like a higher profile. I'm trying to simplify it for those who, like wouldn't understand. But yeah, Apple has that setting on photos now. So like, if you're really into weed photos and like you only have an iPhone, you can get it done now, dude. It's like a game changer. It's called like Apple Pro Raw, and you can film an Apple Pro Res too. But um, the videos are like 10 gigabytes for like a minute. Yeah. So you'd have to have like a beast of an iPhone for that. Yeah, that's crazy. 10 <laughs> gigabytes a minute? It's Holy crazy, shit. yeah. But it's because you're recording in like the rawest format you can. So you'll get like the best picture. But <laughs> it's like crazy. That's like all of the things that are like shot on iPhone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people don't realize that with weed photos and stuff. So that's what me and Aaron will tell some of these old heads. Like, yeah, the color profile. They're like, what the fuck? Is that but it's pretty funny um that's where florida lacks though dude there's a huge um like an age gap or like a, a market gap between like the old head who has like a bunch of weed knowledge and then like the new guy who's like given this like new agenda mm-hmm. and then they come together and they're like yeah no no i understand what you mean 100 percent. shot to extreme i miss <laughs> you curiosity question so how does someone get into modeling i personally was scouted actually through instagram so like the agencies have like people who go on Instagram, I mm-hmm. guess at the time, I don't know how they do it now. Cause I was, this was back in 2018. Mm. So like social media was a lot different back then. I was living in Boca Raton oh, nice. and, um, so I was like near Miami, kind of like an hour away. Mm-hmm. And so I came down to the agency and they literally just like look at you and offer you a contract. That's crazy. It's pretty wild, honestly. Yeah. Modeling is super weird. I, I had like a like a short phase in, in high school where I where I was considering doing it, bro. <laughs> no, nah, hear, hear me out, bro. If you saw me, there was like a perfect age for me, dude. You know when you're like a kid and you're kind of like in, like you see. I had like the muscle aspect with like no hair, so I was like, damn, bro, I could probably get away with some kind you of know, like Abercrombie some Fitch kind of model. yeah, like literally like the like the e boy models or some <laughs> shit. Like I was gonna go for it, dude. There's a point in high school that I was considering just being like a movie star, and you know I didn't do anything about it. But I, I still consider it. that. Yo, I yeah, still, me too. Sometimes. I still consider that a lot hour? of the time. Yeah. Do you guys think you're like, <laughs> like anyone? Are you guys like solid sh- actors? Do you guys I think, think you're I'd good be actors? a great I feel actor. like if I really got in the m- mood and like everyone around me was in the same mindset as me, like we're getting this shit done, like act this shit out. Mm-hmm. I think I'd I do would method totally. Acting. Yeah, I feel like I'd be like perfect for it. I think I could do acting too, dude. Right. I think that if if I was given lines and told like start and here, everyone else around you is very supportive. And yeah, like, exactly. Want like, you to, like, because that's the hard part it. of acting, right? Is like you're like, oh, these. I people wonder, are, like, like, what that's like on set. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like you mess up one little thing, or like you sniffle, and everyone's willing to reset, and you're like, yeah. Wait, you guys are all willing to like wait on me real yeah. quick? <laughs> like, this is crazy. I don't know. Or they're not, and then they hate you. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, like yeah. that's why I'm wondering if it's like supportive. I'm, I'm sure some of it is. Some I, of it is. I heard that they <laughs> shoot some scenes like. Like over and over and like, over. Like they'll have like one day on set mm-hmm. where they shoot like one episode. One, not even, no, not even one episode, scene. like one scene. One and scene, then they'll just, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Different levels to this shit, man, yeah. for sure. Modeling's definitely, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like modeling's crazy in its own ways. Is there like a cannabis modeling scene? I was just going to ask that. I don't think so, honestly. Like, really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, whenever <laughs> I was modeling in like the, like, commercial I guess like modeling space they had you like and there were like jobs for like tobacco like cigarettes shit like that is that basically what an agency is doing then for you it's just getting you jobs jobs? yeah they have all the connections like companies come to the agency and they're like we want someone that looks like this has this Ah, vibe gotcha and they have literally a roster of people under them and they're like okay all these people go audition basically for this job oh my so interesting so like yeah i would stressful yeah it was it was really really crazy but um yeah i don't know about like a cannabis modeling thing because i don't know like aaron it was never an option whenever i was modeling but i feel like maybe now with like freelance modeling it totally could be a thing but like i don't know 
who's hiring for that yeah that's true i heard like any like not anyone can model but it, it, like a lot of like from what i heard girls are almost like modeling and selling themselves in a sense because of like social media and stuff like yeah. they don't have an agency anymore like they their profile is the agency you yeah. know what i mean like literally like freelancing is very popular yeah. now like people can just sell themselves yeah. they the just brands. check their little instagram dms and there's like five companies like yeah please yeah. show up and like help me out um but you know what this just reminded me of aaron remember that one <laughs> page we wanted to create dude just stop <laughs> i'm saying it nah so so in the very very beginning dude, we were coming up we were coming up with different ideas for like ways to <laughs> kind of like spread one the brand but just kind of like spread like couch lock as a whole and aaron was like this was in the early early days um, hey man don't don't throw me under the bus homie. no hear me out hear me <laughs> out it was, it was, it was, i'm giving you the credit because he was I, like I aaron still, came up with this you shit. did bro this is a good idea and 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 you should t and you should be happy with it honestly because i still think to this day like if we had the sources and like the like the actual monetary like funds to put it on like it would it would boom but anyways in short Aaron was like, dude, what if we created a subsidiary like media brand called? Oh, it was this one. Okay. That was, you thought it was something else that I was Maybe talking about. Know. We can just keep going. Nah, this one was good, bro. And it was basically going to be like, like modeling for like, definitely weed bleeping and that name. Well, well, oh, fuck, yeah. the name's like yeah. the coolest Wonderful. part, bro. Yeah, because, Look at like, that, dude. Because someone can, you, someone you, can are take we still, it. All right. Anyways, oh, someone can take it. if you still want it, definitely bleep it out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'll bleep the name, but long story <laughs> yeah, short, I mean, that company? <laughs> it was basically going to be like an agency yeah. slash like modeling subsidiary company, kind of like what you're talking about, mm -hmm. except strictly for like cannabis brands. So it's like cannabis brands come to us like, yo, we need this, this and this for this product. And then we have like a bunch of cannabis models that are willing to do like cannabis commercials yeah. and stuff like that. Or like cannabis and then content they would creators. be called, which will sadly be bleeped, but the fucking which was a badass name and that was like half the reason i told this story i so. think that was a really polite way to put it and i think my initial pitch was hey let's do playboy with weed <laughs> <laughs> dude i don't know it came off that way but then like logistically we dialed it into a more like yeah yeah like i i guess that's how it is how it started but we checked we checked it pretty quick like we don't anyone can do that you yeah. know what I mean? No, that no. is true. Yeah. I don't know. Some models I bet don't even, I mean, I could be wrong, but in this space, I wouldn't be surprised if some models don't even want to work in cannabis. Yeah. I don't know, honestly. Like do a lot like, of models smoke weed? Like, is that like a, is that like a thing? I feel like a lot of models, yeah, I do smoke weed. I guess at the end of the day, most, like, I guess the mecca of like modeling is probably what, like LA? LA, Miami, like New York. And, and weed is all friendly you in those places. LA. So. I don't even want to go there. You never want to? Have you ever been? No. I mean, not since I was a child. Yeah, I've, I've never been to California or anything like that. Um, me and Aaron just always say that because uh, everyone thinks, like, when you start creating content and, like, doing everyone anything. Everyone just goes to L.A. You got to make Bro, it to I've LA. never even been to fucking Colorado in my adult life. Yeah. What? We don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. You should go to Colorado. Yeah. For dude, sure. I want to. You should definitely go to California, too, at some point. But, like, L.A. is, like, meh. Yeah, I mean, it just seems expensive and not really great. Yeah. Yeah, nah, exactly. I mean, dude, I saw, like, ugh, gas there alone is, like, what, 6 $7 a gallon or some crazy, it's crazy. shit. crazy. Yeah. It's so funny because everyone's, like, I want to move to L.A. and make, like, a bunch of fucking money. And everything's, like, like, double the price. No, you'll probably be super broke until you really make it. Yeah. Like, that's how it works out there. And the only side you see of L.A. is, like, the, the people who have like made it, you know? Yeah, you don't exactly. See, you, you don't, don't see, see all the, the dreamers shitty. and stuff like that. You don't see the shitty stuff. You never do, though. Yeah, you never do. You never see the shitty stuff. So it's like, and then everyone has this, like, perception in their brain that people go to L.A. and this happens. And it's the not, that's not always the case. Yeah, no, not, not even know. close anymore, dude. Because everyone does it. It's so, yeah, oversaturated I bet, like, now. 20 years ago that worked. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure, actually, you had a better oh, chance, yeah. like, 20 years ago. Like, when Instagram and, like, that yeah. stuff wasn't around and you were kind of on your way up and you were like, all right, this is the next step. Like, there's no Instagram, there's no Twitter. You like, want to start, like, acting, you go to auditions. Yeah. There's less people in L.A. Mm -hmm. doing that. I saw a really funny picture of um an L.A. acting commercial tryout um for black cats and there was like i swear it was like an old photo from like the 60s or something i saw it on twitter the other day and it's just this line of people wrapped around a building and every single person has a black cat that's and hilarious it, and it was like a photographer was like the most bad luck in one area it's like a famous photo because it's just damn. like but yeah i mean can you think about that like there's people in la like damn bro, i probably make a 
fuck and they just brought their black cat yeah literally <laughs> damn that's people crazy. not only is modeling for people bro people literally have model pets <laughs> yeah <laughs> modeling pet pet acting there's so many weird so many it really is so yeah. many but yeah like the way they incorporate in with weed too is even crazier yeah and the weird thing like i guess with like weed modeling is like what are you gonna model really um, there's not really like a bong a maybe. I okay with like a yeah bong. i was gonna say you, like, could, you could do pieces pipes products well i guess have now you seen so like many... puffco's like promotional videos well yeah they're all really good for sure yeah they I do it like, like that they do the travely vibes and like um well, they also just do like I know commercials. yeah they do do very commercial style videos they're actually pretty good i feel no they're good they're good i still think i mean i know That's this expensive. isn't the most popular opinion but i i still believe that um that Puffco, like, are that, that like, I like my Dabex better than a Puffco still. Like, I don't know. I still do just overall effects, to be honest. Yeah, effects and, like, the process. Like, I don't have to clean my Dabex. Like, I just put a dab in it, double click the button, and I'm good to go. Literally. Travels with water. Like, it, it really is just so much easier. Puffco, you still got to Q-tip it. Like, you got the thing. Like you Don't get me wrong. You still have to clean the outside of the dab back sometimes, but the 710. That is true. Like, the little, like, it does get a little, like, sticky on, like, the part, but it's easy to clean off. I just have a Puffco. Just, like, I don't really use concentrates very much. Yeah. I'm I'm a big flower person. I go in cycles for sure, and I just got on, like, another concentrate cycle. Yeah. I feel like I say I go through, I would, yeah, I go through cycles for sure. Like, last year I was dabbing a lot. But what is this fun little device you got, Chase? Because yeah, I'm wow. kind of judgmental of it. Is that a sea turtle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, um, yeah, that sea turtle got that. Uh, this is not a paid ad, by the way. I just got this because nothing beats quartz when you're on the go. But you want to know what is a paid ad? You. Yes, you right there. If you're a supporter of the podcast, I need you to do me a favor really quick and go to the link down below. This episode is sponsored by CanRank. They are a solution if you want to find the closest products to you. If you want to see who has what, when it's got it, if something's going to drop, you need to go to CanRank.com. Again, they're the supporter of this episode. We love CanRank. Honestly, I think it's a website that could really do good for a lot of people in this industry, especially newbies. Uh, It's a great way to learn all the dispos around you and now to the episode (laughs) and then you'll insert it right there (laughs) wow great that was a great transition i probably i probably won't you should (laughs) and the reason why is because a lot of the times when i throw an ad in it's to hide like a shitty cut (laughs) no put in the ad right there and then get back to your review right after it it's perfect don't be if it works i'll do it if it works it'll work really well all right but um (laughs) It sounded great. Yeah, but anyways, uh, this is the Stash Riggin one. Um, I believe it's the Warwick Glass collab that they have. Um, so it has like the custom mouthpiece. It's like a turtle. I'll pop up some close-ups of it like right now. Um, nothing beats quartz, man. Like at the end of the day, dab X's are cool. Puff codes are cool. But nothing's like dabbing out of a quartz banger. That's what this is, and it's on the go. It's got the water stoppers. Like, I don't know, you guys can't tell, but there's there's water in this. Like, I could literally just take a dab right now. Like, it's good to go. Well, why don't you? Um, I'm about to, but you asked me about the device. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, anyways, so uh, I'm really stoked to uh, have this. Um, Stash, I think your invention's pretty cool. Yeah, that's it. You ready to try this thing? Do you guys want to try it too? Yeah, dude, let's go for it. I want to see right, it in action. It. You I guys wanna... chat while I uh, set this thing up. What do you think of this device, Katie? I think it's pretty cool. I, I with the sea turtle. I think the sea turtle gives it hella beach vibes. Yeah, I love um, the beach vibes. I wish I was at the beach right now, but it's pretty dreary out, unfortunately. Yeah, it's been dreary for the past couple of days. What is your favorite stoner, dreary movie, rainy day OMG, activities? Rainy. Oh, I like... Honestly, the past couple of days, I've been doing a lot of arts and crafts. So, okay. like, I like just getting really high and just, like, painting okay. or crocheting. Do you do, like, <laughs> preset paintings or do you do, like, your own? I kind of just, like, sit down and I just paint. I think splatter paint is was splatter my paints, favorite thing to do. Like, yeah. I did an art class as a kid one time and I did that. Pretty, yeah. Pretty dope. It's a vibe. Yeah, I just kind of, like, let myself just, like, kind of paint whatever I want. And, like, half the time I hate it and I throw it away. But half the time I really like it. And then I just hang it up in my room. Yeah, I wish I was, like, more into that kind of stuff. Like, I want to be and, like, on the outside it is. But then I feel like 
going and like getting paint stuff if you don't have it is like a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, is it, is it, it is, expensive? It is. I mean, yeah, definitely. Prob- <laughs> I, would, I would definitely say it's probably expensive. Like I just spend too much money and time in Michael's. Oh, but I do love Michael's, dude. Michael's is a vibe. Yeah, I'm there like once a week. I think I like frames. Like frames are pretty cool. Like for figures. You're talking about arts and crafts? Yeah. 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 All right. (laughs) Yo, all right. So I've always been on the digital side of arts and crafts and stuff. But isn't that just video games? No, bro. <laughs> like Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, like digital art. Dude. Okay, digital, digital I art. I mean, video too games too, bro. Like, fuck. <laughs> you know, I'm not even gonna lie. I, I might get roasted for this, but the new Fortnite season's lit. Dude. I it's haven't lit. played. No, I used to play Fortnite all the oh, time. Oh, bro, I want to play Fortnite now. I used to play fuck? Fortnite I did, all I was the in time. the World Cup, bro. What no way. Yeah, oh, my God. I not was the like, real one, but I wasn't like the first qualifying good. route. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I love that for you. I never I didn't think this would draw up such a heavy conversation. <laughs> Fortnite is lit, honestly. Yeah, I, was, it, you, I used to play all the time, every single night. No, like, it's I wasn't fun, dude. great, but like I was pretty good. Like I wouldn't nobody had to carry me. <laughs> no nobody had to carry me. Chase yeah. carried me for a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, I play on console. Maybe now, in the so beginning, beginning. Be the Maybe in the beginning, beginning, but I definitely worked my way up there. I just and meant, then I just yeah. stopped. Yeah. I, one, well, everyone stopped playing it. Well, I used to play because I love the social factor that all my friends Same. were on. All yeah, the it's just time. fun. It's fun. And it then really one is day everyone was just not on. And I was just like, all right, I guess I'm not. It is really a social thing. Like me and my brother connected through Fortnite. Dude, yeah. I mean, that's how I connected with like far away friends that didn't go to the same college also yeah. college i felt yeah. like wait so the new season's fun well do you, i don't know do you have you played they have like a the no build like mode now where you don't have to build at all yeah right? that's what i meant like basically you just don't have to build anymore so it's like kind of fun to like it's wait, almost like playing mean? like a they just took build, there's like a mode called no build mode. oh but is there a build mode too yeah there's both okay. but like it's fun to play no build because you can sprint and like do all these new things but Anyways, I'm not gonna go into a Fortnite ramble right now. Hey man, this where was I was going the with most that is, like podcasty podcast ever. I know. And I kind of like it though, because like some of my favorite ones are just like where we just kick back and chill and talk yeah. or whatever. I mean, yeah, even no, the I ones agree. that I listen to, like comedians, when they're just like yeah. calm with no, this would be fun. I think I think there's definitely a fan base out there of ours that would enjoy this but, kind of topic. Hell yeah! But back what to I was this saying, little weird turtle. With yeah, the wide but open before mouth. that, is one of my favorite things to do now is actually <laughs> get really baked, like off some edibles and. Sh- Go like grab like a canvas from like Joanne's and paint. Just paint some stupid. Like That's it literally, what I'm it'll saying. be like a twenty minute painting. Like, That's it's not what like I'm a, saying. All right, I think I have to do that today. Okay. You do. You all have right, cool. to just like go get just a simple little paint set, right? Just like a couple paint brushes and a canvas, and just write. Do whatever you want on it. That's what I do. It doesn't have to be like professional. Do you, Do you want my seven ten labs? No, I'm telling you, like, I just, it was like, my hands are just kind of, kind of greasy. You're good. I got it. Oh, yeah. (laughs) He's talking all that. Bro. Bro, well, you couldn't open the other one, and I just didn't know why that shit was so sticky. The sweet haze literally smells like pine tree, a very Durban poison-like nose. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dude, right? That's actually crazy. Dude. Yeah, Chase isn't good enough to get Percy. Actually, I haven't <laughs> smelled. I haven't. I just smelled. realized my mic wasn't on, so no one is gonna hear that. What I was saying is that that's um, that's normal, it like live just rosin. Like mine. Yeah. There's like no difference. Yeah. Wait, that's what like, is this one? So that's just their like uh, live rosin like tier the, three. Yeah. And then they have their Percy rosin, which is supposed to be like a step up, and um, that's and just the their difference normal. is just like the micron. So it's like the Percy is yeah. like ninety U, and then this is like the what like eighty to one twenty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Damn. I'm gonna pack this thing for us. Oh, no. It's okay, as long as it didn't actually land on the carpet. It's okay, bro. That's that. That's that sticky, not. so it doesn't fall out. You know? <laughs> yeah, dude. What if it's all dry and crumbly, like the one you guys grams are? Ruined it, bro. <laughs> that would be awful. I would. All right, Chase. So, <laughs> how does this shit work? All right, dude. So, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Well, I, I don't know. Um, how it I works, like to cold. So I don't nah, think it is. I'm just messing with you. So, I like to. Oh, co- whoa. I, yeah. So, I like to cold start with it. So, it has like, as you guys can see, it has like the torch built in here. And then, um, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Wow. Do you just get to kiss the turtle? Um, if you want, <gasps> dude. I don't know. Is that how it comes? You do, yeah. I yeah. didn't realize that was like the mouth. Yeah. So you turn it on and then look, oh, the wow. torch just kind of heats it up. I like to do cold starts. So um, I'm going to cold start this real quick. So hold on a second. 
How many times can you say the word cold start? <laughs> yeah, just like that. Look, it just kind of starts to heat it up. You can watch your. Is that in another banger? Um, I'll explain. Okay. I mean, that's pretty nice, dude. Yeah, because it like kind of takes out the like torch factor. The Dabrite Pro is now live on Dabrite.com. They are the best in the game when it comes to dabbing at the perfect temperature. With the adjustable sensor arm, sound alerts to tell you when to take the perfect dab, as well as the new body style and profile option if you're sharing with a friend, this thing is next level. And we use it every day over here at CouchLock. Again, that is Dabrite.com to get the new Dabrite Pro. Now back to the program. Basically what I was saying though is that um, the reason I do like it is because one, it's like the cold start Two, the rig and the torch is just all like pointed at one place. Like I don't even technically have to have it. Like I could just be like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just really nice to be able to kind of just like not have to pay attention to it. No, I like the device. I think. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So this is a stash. They, they sell like normal ones without the turtle. Yeah, this was just like one of their heady collabs or whatever. But usually, what it is is just a normal down like stem that comes out like that, and then it's just like a mouthpiece. And uh, they're like only a hundred forty bucks or something like that <gasps> on their website. It's really not Baby that turtles bad. Turtles really cute. Yeah, yeah. The turtles really cute. I know. I wasn't just gonna. I couldn't just get a normal one just because I knew it was gonna be on camera. I was like, have you guys sure. ever tried? Blowing glass. I thought you no. were going to say, have you ever tried baby turtles? <laughs> no. <what>? <laughs> <laughs> no, my God. Uh, yeah, that's pretty dark, no. Have you um, ever tried blowing glass? No, I haven't actually. I'm low-key, like, a little bit scared, I think, maybe, of it. Like, the possibility of, like, getting burned. Burn, yeah. Have you? How's that? Yeah, I have, actually. I've tried, like, both types, I guess, of glass blowing. Like, there's like the traditional type where you would honestly, like, none of this glass would be like made in that way. It's mm -hmm. like how they would honestly make something more like this. Yeah, when you like have the stick in a big and, like, furnace. Yeah, it's like uh -huh. a bunch of glass on like mm -hmm. the end of this thing. Mm -hmm. I did a like six week course for that. So it was really fun. I got to like learn a lot. And then I went into like the flame working studio where they do more of like. Like the morphing and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And that's actually really fun. And like, yeah, you could burn yourself, but like. You can kind of see here where he did that. Yeah. Like see the that torch. where it's yeah, like not exactly. super. You can see where he merged on his yep. little to make it custom or whatever. Mm -hmm. I it's found really that cool, very though. interesting. Yeah. yeah. You know, glass blowing is such a dope it's art. It's so fucking cool, yeah. honestly. My buddy has a, um, a, uh, a really, really nice, like, piece and um it was like a thousand dollars or something and he messaged the creator or the the artist and he's like hey man like i got this in the mail there's like this little crack in the side and he like sent him a picture and he didn't even buy it from the artist he bought it from a smoke shop and, and then he was like i don't know who else to go to like and he was like oh not my art and he made him send him the piece and he sent them back the piece and he put a custom pendant on the crack so it's like a custom circular pendant. It's the only piece made by this dude That's that has a pendant cool. built into the side. And he's like, you, it's your lucky day. Like, it'll provide a story and, and be more valuable when you sell it now. Oh, that's really cool. And I was cool. like, so some of these artists are dope. No, like, most yeah. of them are. They're they really cool dudes, man. They're, they're so yeah. laid back. Like, they're they really so are. chill, yeah. I really like like when he told me that story, I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like, And the glass can sell, like you said, for so expensive. Yeah, because like, it's even more original now. It has its own pendant. And not only did it just, it wasn't like just made. It's because it was fixed. That's even cooler. Like the yeah. artist custom fixed it for you. And he let him pick the pattern too. He's like, this is what I'm going to do. Like, what pattern do you want? And like that kind of thing. And he let him pick the pattern, which I found like absolutely phenomenal. Damn. Yeah, like, I remember going to Art Basel. How was that? We, we wanted to go, but we couldn't make it. I haven't gone in a while, but, like, the years that I did go was really fun. But there is, like, a lot of glass there that's just, like, so f***ing expensive. Like, I remember looking at it and just being like, oh, my God. Like, that's insane that you would charge that much. But at the same time, pieces? as you should. Like, yeah, exactly. And they're, like, in these, like, <clears throat> like... I don't know, like show they're the literal like, like glass showcases yeah, with like yeah. the lights coming. From. Literally, they're like showcase yeah. like yeah, it's fucking like crazy. in a museum type like mm -hmm. environment. It's honestly really cool. It's like respect to those people that can do that. One of my big goals for for couch lock in general is for one day 
to have a custom rig like 10 Ooh. 20k for like the couch lock pod it's not like mine or yours it's part of the podcast and you have to come on the podcast to hit it and it's Ooh. like a custom blown me and you are both sitting on like a tv or something like that and then like one of the antennas is like the mouthpiece and then the other antenna <laughs> is like the banger that's pretty sick. so it's like bubbler and like you can have it just like it. sitting on the table and, and it's like antenna. a center who's gonna break it Ooh. Ooh. i don't know man let's hope none of us but uh i mean what guests oh that's true. a lot of pressure i'm the dream I, guest would be most well, likely i feel to like if we were at that point dude it would be a whole segment and i would probably have oh, a cool. producer or a cameraman also be specialized in like dabs <laughs> and we would have like a special and just like a, it'd be training. like a joke like a dab butler like we have a guy come out and he's like in a butler outfit and he's like here's your dab sir oh and that would be like, funny gets paid like really well i feel like yeah like there's a lot of potential <laughs> there's a lot of potential yeah. for a podcast like this yeah but to have a like an actual like cln rig would be really cool yeah that'd be really really cool all right do you guys want to try this this rio or sure 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 yeah. <laughs> right, let's do sure 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 <laughs> I bet. I'll pack you guys something. You can talk about something else while I pack okay. you guys one. All right, Katie. So you are somewhat relatively new to the Florida medical program, aren't you? Somewhat, yeah. When did you get your card? I got my card in like 2020, yeah. 2020. Okay. So about, well, sheesh, my wow, time flies. Holy sh Yeah. When did you get your card? About 20, yeah, not too much longer before you. Uh, What was that? Like 2018, 2019, Chase? Chase got his card first for yeah. you. Even. Summer, summer 2019. 2019. Um, we both had, beyond the reason of like wanting to get our med card, there was more reasons to it. Mm -hmm. But me and Aaron never really thought about actually doing it because we were just like, didn't think anyone would take us serious for the reasons that we needed it for. At a certain time in my life, it actually made sense. And I was like, you know what, dude? Like worst case, they just say no. And I wasted 50 bucks. Like I don't even care. And I went in and I got it. And I just called this 50 man. 50 bucks? It was fifty dollars for the for the appointment, and there was no refund. So if they said yes or no, it didn't matter. Oh damn! So I'm like, pretty, I'm that's sure. sorry. No, no, you're good. How was it for you? I'm pretty sure mine was like one seventy five. That was if I got accepted. So it was like it was fifty dollars for the initial appointment, and then if I get accepted, I had to pay another one fifty. Oh my god! So oh, it was like yeah, two hundred so bucks. Like, even if he only was wasting fifty dollars. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. I was like worst case, like I don't get accepted. You had to pay and like then, an official, an, an, and a, an just to make 50. the appointment was fifty bucks. Damn. I know, and I was like, okay, like who cares? And don't get me wrong, like there's plenty of doctors who probably didn't do that, but I didn't know any better, yeah, you know. That is and true. <laughs> I showed up and uh, I, I walked in, and and within eleven, it was like eleven minutes. I I remember I was out and I had my medical card. This was before Wasn't you got it like, like a week? it was like two weeks. Yeah. yeah it, was it was like, like a, like a week, week or two before you got accepted. Yeah. Before. You had to wait like a couple weeks. Yeah. And then if your uh, address you put on the was online wrong, application, it took way longer. If it didn't match your ID. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I think that's actually what happened. That is what happened to me. Yeah. It I, happened. It almost happened. And then you were like, don't let this happen. And I didn't oh, yeah. live where my ID said anymore. So I just, oh, lied. yeah. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's wild. That it's, I feel like it's changed a lot. The approvals are like in Im immediate you get now. Same day yeah. approval. Yeah. Now in yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like turning and burning. It's crazy. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I called you, bro. Remember? I just yeah. called him. I walk out of the office and I go, dude, I'm like a medical. Like, I was like, I'm a medical patient in Florida, bro. Like, there's no way. And he was like, really? Like, actually? And I was like, actually. And he's like, well, was, damn, dude. Like, they take a serious. Because I was 19. 19. So Wait, I was this 2020? Yeah. I was 2019. Or, no, 2019. 2019. It was 2019 summer. So yeah. And then not long into it, what we had it for. We didn't, it wasn't, we didn't start because of it, I don't think. Or no, we did actually. We started the podcast because literally we, we didn't have anything else to do during COVID really. Uh, and I was just sitting in, we literally were on a Zoom call and we we're sitting in the garage and we had started this account just to like post weed photos because we thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. Um, and then that got banned like for censorship for like weed and we we're like this Fuck, morning. Yeah. yeah, really? Yeah, my TikTok. Oh yeah, the TikTok. My bad. Um, <laughs> and then I thought I was like your Instagram. No, I'd fuck? be pissed. Yeah, I'd be so mad. I'd just be like, I'm not even getting back on Instagram at this point. And yeah, <laughs> and then. So we were sitting on a Zoom call, literally like in, I was, we, I went home for COVID. I think he had went home for COVID or he was still in USF, like Tampa by himself because everyone had went home for COVID. 
weed. And so we were just calling all the time. And like, my parents are pretty cool with weed. So, like, <laughs> this was during a phase. I was just, we were just sitting in the garage. And I remember I had just discovered Steve will do it videos. So I was just like drinking like Coronas and fucking <laughs> smoking weed. Love and, that. And we were on a call and we were like, well, what should we do? And we were like, just brainstorming names, like new names for like an Instagram account. Mm -hmm. And I said Couch Lock News, and he was like, I like it, but that's not really like an account. It sounds more like a podcast. And yeah. I was like, well, we should just do a podcast. And he was like, yeah. And then we started audio only, and then we moved to this. Because remember, we, we were nervous to like show our face. And then so it was like a slow step thing. It was like, first, we're going to try a page. And then it was like, all right, well, we'll throw our voices into it because mm -hmm. we can still be like anonymous. And then not, I think it was like literally episode six was our first video podcast. It was with Joey Kelly, I think. Yeah. Um. Right. Maybe. I think so. I don't uh, even know. Yeah. Anyways, maybe there was, maybe, maybe there was one before that, but it was still like, it was like a, there's no like way out of this kind of thing is basically what it, what it came to. Um, and we knew, and we noticed that video podcasts were like starting to trend. Yeah. Like they're really a thing now. Yeah. But I mean, two, two, two and a half years ago. I mean, like, dude, that's such a weird statement saying you two forgot. and a half years ago. Yeah. I know. Like it's so long, but it's just like t media specifically moves like so fast now. Like, Oh my God. Like crazy know? trends so are like, in and out like this. Yeah. But podcasting specifically right now is like a thing that everyone's seeming to enjoy and yeah. listen to. I mean, you don't even have to be a podcaster to enjoy listening to it or, no. or, or like be someone who listens to podcasts all the time to just enjoy one, which is nice. So, um, and there's so many different ones out there now. There's a podcast for anything you can yeah. ever want. Yeah. Like, yeah. look how niche this is, but it's successful. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, exactly. I feel like podcasts have to be kind of niche for them to be successful in yeah, a way. That's what we said. Could be we low budget, at the market, yeah. and we were like, no one else is doing this like, yeah. in Florida. Or in a weird way, it felt like, I know this is a weird way to say it, but like too professional. Like, it was like overdone in production, but the people on the podcast didn't match that. Like, Where? they were really casual. Or something like this is just in the podcast industry in okay. general. Like oh, you know, not like like the weed industry. Yeah, like I don't just honestly, like there's a lot of podcasts like that where they're super high and they have the nicest sense. When in the celebrities world. started yeah. doing podcasts, and, and then stuff, they're not like, like, and then they're super fucking like casual dudes, and it just like doesn't match, like in a weird way. I don't know. Maybe I that's see, just. Like, I know. I see exactly. You know what I'm saying? What like Joe about. Rogan's little vibe is like. It's intimate. It's, it's conversation. Intimate. Yeah, it feels and it's, chill. It's like mm -hmm, the stuff is on the table. Like yeah. he's not like. No stuff on the table. It's like the culture is just like swiped away sometimes. Yeah, and it's you're, like, you're chilling. Like that's like his vibe or whatever. Yeah. So his mm -hmm. like studio makes sense. But there's a lot of people who have like these crazy studios and then they don't match it. Yeah. You know? Dude, I can't wait till we have a studio someday. Holy I fuck. know. All right. Ready to try this? Who's going first? Katie, you got this. Okay. All right. Do you know how to cold start? I, don't, I, I want everyone to know I don't dab. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't dab. So. Do you, do you want to take a dab? You don't have to. I will. All right. This will be it. like Katie Mae's first dab. Well, I have a puff coat. <laughs> I, so I do dab. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. This is pretty similar. Okay. To no, I got it. All I'm right. just, yeah, I don't dab. I'm not like in a concentrate phase right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're going to have to help me out. We just talked about, it. no, you're good. This yeah. is pretty easy. So this one's pretty quick. Like <laughs> I like, I go through so much flour though. Like I love Dude, flour. Same. I'm smoking so much flour. It's like, I don't know if it's like, concerning or not. Um, <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Just like that. All right, you can just inhale and then spin the whole thing. Did you make it hot enough? Oh, yeah. It's just a cold start, so you kind of like... That's the cool thing about this. You can just do it while you're hitting it. That's crazy. I was like, is that going to burn her? No. <laughs> no, it's it's chill. I mean, if I'm doing it wrong, someone let me know. But every video... He's fucking doing it wrong. But every single video I've ever seen, I mean, that's, that's, that's what they're doing. Yeah, right? Yeah, no, you're good. You're chilling. I'm so oblivious. Not obli Honestly, yeah, I am kind of oblivious. Like, I walk out of my house sometimes without blowing out my candles, and uh, I feel like I, feel I just you. don't trust myself. Well, I guess torches now are, like, a little bit better than they used nah, to be. Nah, but you, you're, you're, I see what you're saying, though, for sure. Like, um... That's why I like my puffco, but at the same time, it can time, be very like, intimidating from an outside perspective. Dude, a lot of people think dabbing like it always gets compared to like harder drugs. It for sure. it looks like it's because sometimes. it looks a little bit more like even a bong sometimes like just doesn't look medical at all. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, I, I talk about that with Aaron. I, I said that in the last podcast. I was like, as much as I know it is for some people, like good for you. 
I just like me and my brain has trouble correlating like a bong rip with like medical medical because I feel like I heard I'm you like, say that in a podcast yeah. it was my la- it was the last morning. one I'm yeah. like dying coughing after and I'm like sitting there like oh man well, that is really true like, and I feel good and I'm like this is nice and the effects like wise is like amazing but I, like it's hard for me to be like this is completely 100% medical and I'm like totally. ripping a bong rip, yeah like, or like even when I'm like smoking a joint I'm like yeah this does not seem like medical at yeah. all I'm like I even posted like on 420 this like pretty long caption on my main that, Instagram yeah. about like my cannabis story and long story short my modeling kind of experience turned into like mental health galore pretty much and I started smoking a lot of weed and I really think it helped me through it like in a lot of ways but I'm like putting this post together and I'm like having this like heartfelt like caption and then I'm just like me smoking joints. <laughs> I'm just like, this seems so wrong, but like, it's no, so true. Like it is. That medical, was what I was going to say but, too. Like, it feels wrong. And I feel like some yeah. of that probably still is like the stigma, but yeah, like smoking something s- seems counterintuitive. Yeah. And what I was going to say but, is like, like, um, like you said too, is it's like, I think that sometimes the, the thing you're dealing with, outweighs like the other stuff you i know? agree like someone totally. went through like a crazy crazy surgery they can exactly. barely fucking, or like, like veterans. move veterans. yeah and like, they can barely fucking move yeah but like a bong rip gives them like the ability to do so much other things it's exactly. like all right like i get it bro like exactly. if that's like so like yeah there's like there, i'm just saying for me personally like i can medicate just as well with like, an edible or like a dab so when I do take and i'm like you know what i'm gonna pack like a really big bong rip right now I'll throw some hash on top and get ripped like for me, it's very recreational. So, what when is I the most that? medical way to medicate then? Edibles. I feel like edibles. Edibles yeah, for sure. Or like yeah. a tincture. Or Any day of the like week. That. Tincture. Yeah. yeah, I think tincture probably. But like some people are gonna say in, in the comments on vaping. Like some people like to vape. I don't know their if flower. anyone's gonna say that. Vaping their flower, like oh, vape. Oh yeah, no. vaping. You know what I mean? Like flower smoking. vaping and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That that's like a very um, very like medical community as well. Yeah, no, they really do love those. I don't know. I've never had like a volcano, but I know people love them. The Mighty was really nice when it worked. The, the little vaporizer thing? Yeah. The yeah. Mighty Plus. What do you mean really when good. it worked? What happened to it? Uh, I don't know. It just stopped I working, like- to be honest with you. It just stopped working? It just stopped charging. What? Yeah. Where'd you bring it? Nowhere. Just like it was under. Cabinet. Oh, I mean, it was under a cabinet, and then it just—I took it back out after a long period of time, and it just wouldn't charge anymore. Wow. Yeah, I know. Damn, I never had one. Was it under the sink cabinet? I mean, yeah, but there's no water under there. I got all my—that's where my weed and shit is, bro. Oh, Nothing's okay. Wet. I mean, just like, sometimes, like you know, like like water can drip under the under the sink, right? No, nah, I mean you can. It Maybe. wasn't though. True, but I mean, Mighty's pretty. Our stores in Bickle is like you—we could just tell them. They would just send yeah, you a new one. Yeah, like yeah. they're not like a sh- company where they're no, gonna be like, "You're out of luck." Like, like if you're like, "Yo, I got this like two months ago and it doesn't I work." I got a broken puffco sitting under there too that I just never returned. If you have to. like the receipt, you have to have the receipt. I'm pretty sure I for that so. one. Yeah. Because I tried one time to get a new peak and they're like, "Give me your receipt," and I was like, "I." don't have that anymore do you have to buy it from their website too no, i don't think so keep no. the, like, i got mine from Sotera and they told me to keep the receipt and i did maybe i guess i could have called whoever i bought it from but i feel like i don't know where i got it so <laughs> i don't know where i got it that's so funny kind of just going back to what we were talking about i know you haven't been in the program too long but like how has your experience been so far where do you like to shop what's your favorite products um yeah so like I guess my experience really started at like a smaller or I guess it's a bigger dispensary. I worked at Liberty Health for like a year Mm -hmm. and it was honestly great working there. It was like a small family of just like we were the only dispensary in Boca. So it was really, really great. Honestly, our vibe was there. You know, the products like not great, but I was also like really poor college student. So it didn't really matter to me back then. And I feel like that's also important to note that like there's a market for everyone. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like not everyone is going to be paying top dollar for premium cannabis because not everyone can afford it. And I think that's important to note. You're so right. Me and Aaron used to live off True Leaf Minis in 2019. Eventually and it got bad. It got down to the ground flower. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no. oh. desperate, desperate call yeah no. desperate times call for desperate measures a lot of the time yeah back then i would just buy and i had a great discount honestly Our, their employee discount was great so 
And then, um, yeah, now I work for the Flowery, so big jump. So I would say, like, probably 100% or, like, 75% of my rec goes to the Flowery. And then probably, like, Jungle Boys occasionally. And I don't know. I went to Sunburn yesterday. But, Those like, I, this honestly, is the first time I've ever been there, so. That's like been Sunburn. my rotation recently. Yeah. How do you like that disposable from them, though? I like it. Yeah, I was like, I'm out of flour, and I was like, I have to wait one more day tomorrow. I think I can get some. Yeah. And it's literally right down the road. Accessibility. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're better? Like, they're or not better. Do you think that the sunburn disposables are like compared to other live rosin carts in the game, like Blue River and like those kind of? I've never tried the Blue River. You never tried the other ones. Okay, true. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I I really do think they have the best ones. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. I will say, yeah, it's, it's not bad. I like it. Mm -hmm. um, just function wise, and uh, dude, they are actually just if they didn't reek so much, they they'd do. be the most. Just, I was, I was you cannot the keep it in your pocket. Like really? it, 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 no, it does seriously. smell like weed. Like, like, it, like it, it literally is like it's if a you good had thing, enough, though. Like, yeah. It like is a good thing, but you need to, you have to put the rubber stopper in it <laughs> oh, and it has to be kept inside of like the, the clear tube that I'm it comes so in. Or it reeks. I just if I'm in carry elevator. it around with me. Really? Yeah, I literally just carry it around yeah. with me. That's it so reeks, funny. believe it or not. It really does. I just, that's really funny. <laughs> You're like, oh, well. I remember one time I was at like a restaurant with my friends and I had a, like Percy pod and I just ripped it at the dinner table and they were like May you can literally can't hit that in here like it literally <laughs> reeks in here now like you can't do that That's and I was so like funny. oh fuck like I guess like I yeah. can't do that no I know that like, is I, the one good I thing about myself, distillate bro That's I the catch one. myself <laughs> I catch myself I like I really would be ripping it like i stopped myself in the movie theater yeah. last night That's hilarious That is the yeah. one good thing about distillate though It doesn't smell Bad. yeah it doesn't smell as bad like like don't get me wrong like i don't think i bought a distillate card in like a really long time but if you're like traveling traveling or like you're Especially on the job they have cannabis terpenes yeah like when i yeah terpenes. exactly when yeah. i used to work at um and like in college i worked at a lot of restaurants like it's just like you know we've been there yeah but distillate cards were perfect for a restaurant because the kitchen smells enough like food where it's like, there's no way they're smelling it. Like, it's just not happening. But a live rosin cart, you know, or like a live yeah, rosin it's disposable. Yeah, definitely a lot. It's yeah. gonna, you're going to smell it. Like, it's just the way it is. So, um, dislit can be can be clutch yeah. sometimes. I hate to say it. but I just, I don't honestly vape that often. It's like kind of a rare thing for me. But, yeah, that's like my tops, I guess. The flowery, probably number one. Obviously number one. I go there all, right. all the time. Honestly, that's where I've been shopping personally. Uh, now that you got a store near here, dude. You're <clears throat> well, like, the, so yeah. Nice. yeah. They always have good stock. Um, the 10% industry plus the rewards points has yeah. kept me coming back. Um, oh, yeah. I never really took advantage of rewards points system like that before. We have a good one. Like, it's actual cash back mm -hmm. instead of, like, I don't know. Like, I remember. Wait, what? They give you money back? Well, kind of like store <laughs> I was like, like, wait, like store credit back. Oh no, much. no, that's cool. No, yeah. I like that. I like. I literally like, thought you like, meant like you, you just buy a full price and they're like, here's fifty bucks back. Because uh, let's well, be honest, that'd be freaking cool, but it would cost a company a lot more. So that's why I was uh, like. <laughs> so I, I guess like. it would just be like giving out refunds instead of yeah. just taking it off at the sale price. Yeah. No, but um, I love a nice like if you if you shop enough and you rotate it enough, you can almost get it. Like every other time, you know, dude. No, I know. I mean, especially the way I've been picking up there lately. Fucking thirty dollars off makes yeah the difference for sure. Especially with the totally. stackable. And then I went into a uh, flowery Clearwater the other day, and they had like a in store shout out flowery Clearwater team secret menu. And I got the seven ten, the two and a half gram buckets, uh, Bogo, bro, with five grams for one fifty five. That was wild. Yeah, that. Dude, fuck off. Ah, yeah, the bogos, yeah. you gotta hit them. Like, you just have to have the live menu and just, like, know when they're So, what's there. up with that, though? You said, like, you said you went in and there was a hidden menu? Oh, it was just printed out. Like, it was, like, it so wasn't. Not online. So, they have, like, their flowery online and then they have, like, their flowery notion. Yeah. And then this was just, like, this they said, it said, it straight up said secret menu. 
Oh my god! And At the Clearwater wow. store, printed, uh, and it was so just funny. like low stock items. They're like we have three or four yeah. of these left in the back. They do that. I was like, "There's no way." I was thinking about getting a bucket. Just by you had itself. to do it, dude. Five dude. grams for 150 bucks is yeah. stupid. I felt financially, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. and it was Percy Rosin yeah. too. Yeah, dude. What tier was it? With they tier both? three, but still doesn't even matter. Which one? The Waffle House. It was Waffle House and Sweet, sweet Haze. haze. Yeah, yeah, the Sweet Haze like yeah. smells really good. Dude, the sweet Haze is so. I might good. have to get back into concentrates. I like just go in and out. I don't Me know. Too. I always come back to flour though. Like Me at too. the end of the day, you start taking too many dabs and it doesn't hit the same. Yeah, definitely. Katie, I think this has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, is there anything else you want to say to our audience so far? Is there oh any questions God. you have for us? I don't. Think so I didn't come very prepared with any questions. No, this has been so chill. It's been nice yeah. just to be able to relax. And yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having Dude, me. Dude, guys, go yeah. check her out. All of your socials will be tagged up above thank right you. now. Thank you. Um, is this our first like patient podcast? Kinda. Kinda yeah, she is. She I is a patient. A patient yeah. So patient podcast, dude. Yeah, that's hype. Hey guys, yeah. Thanks for having me. Um, Clickbait. Life fun. of a cannabis model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Literally, model to cannabis. Uh, Worker, I don't know, industry worker, <laughs> fuck. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what the pipeline is, honestly. Yeah. Um, but we'll yeah, thank you out. for having me. It's no, been fun. Thank you so it's much. Fu- it's on. great to finally meet you guys. Dude. Well, I, I've met Aaron, but like. Yeah, yeah, no. I know. Yeah, we, I, like, that happens a lot whenever we meet people in the industry because he does a lot of like the actual. I just yeah, keep yeah. chasing a room that's locked until yeah. he edits the video. So it's really exciting for me because whenever I get to meet people, like I get to, I get to have a first impression, you know, in person. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm a very in-person kind of guy. That's so nice. It works for me, honestly. Yeah. yeah, but thank you for coming on. Thank yeah, you. no, thank yeah, you so much. No, yeah, hell yeah. I'm happy to be here. So thanks, guys. Big couch talk. We love you. Bye.